Hey guys, how's it going? I'm pretty excited. I uh, just got my GSI bullet feed system uh, shipped to me today. I want to show you guys how it works. Um, I've unboxed everything, so I'll show you all the parts it comes with, how to install it, and uh, we'll run some rounds. Uh, my days of putting each individual bullet on each case are over. So here we go. So here we have all the stuff that comes in the box. I've taken it all out. Um, you get a power supply. You get a little bag here with some supplies. Um, the GSI tool head, which is the new tool head that has the feeder system built in. This metal cap here is for the top of your mounting post. You've got the post in the back here. Uh, I'll let you know that uh, this normally comes in black. Um, I've painted mine blue uh, just to match my Dillon machine because that's what I like. So you can do whatever you want there. Uh, and we also have the bullet hopper here and the GSI feed column. Alright, first step of the installation is mounting the arm. So GSI has provided a nice uh, schematic here. Basically this is your press and then this is where they want you to mount the arm. So it's four inches away from the bench and nine inches away from the press. And it's pretty simple. So go ahead and mark your holes. So go ahead and drill out your holes and then mount it to the table. We're ready to take the tool head out. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to be replacing this whole assembly here. So you're going to want to replace it with the GSI tool head. Uh, what I suggest is you get yourself some electrical tape. I'm going to show you a little trick to do that quickly. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take your rod out. We're going to disconnect the power measure. Check off. Rod comes out. That comes out. So now this is the trick with the electrical tape. You're going to take your wrench and you're going to loosen the ring lock, but at the same time you're going to hold the die so that it doesn't spin. So you just want to loosen it a little bit, and then what I do is just retighten it back up a little bit, but the die now can still spin. So now you've got the exact placement for where the die is. Get your electrical tape and just wrap it around. Just like this. And what you want to do is that way the lock ring doesn't move and then you can take your die out. And it's got the exact markings same as this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do them all and then we will show you how it works putting them back in. Next, you can take the two pins out and you can slide out the Dillon tool head. So next you'll want to grab the um, GSI tool head. You're going to slide that right in where the Dillon was. Fits right in perfectly. Replace the pins. And then you've got your caliper specific bushing that goes right here and comes with its own uh, bullet seeker. That's the only difference. You, you won't need the one that came with the Dillon so that you can put that in first. Now I'm going to go ahead and replace all the um, dies that I had marked and I'm going to put them all in, tighten them up and then we're going to be ready to go here. Just a quick note here, when you put the dies all the way back down you're going to want to tighten them with the wrench before you take the tape off. So once you get all the dies back in place, you put your power measure back on. And the rod back in. Okay guys, I just want to make a quick note here on the powder checker uh, reinstallation on this. It's not as easy as I thought. I'll save you about half an hour here. You're going to want to ride the um, die here really high, as high as it almost can go because this is the problem, if it's too low this pin here has a hard time coming out it's right at its limit right now so you'll find that if you do, if you have the die down too low 
um, you won't be able to get this pin out and then it won't be easy to take the tool head in and out. So that's about it right there. That's about how high you want it. You can just test it with the pin. Just make sure the pin comes in and out and you're good to go. And then on the, after the rod here, the little assembly, just pull the, pull your thing all the way up here, handle down. And if you hear a beep, you know that uh, it's the right it's, uh, height. You don't want too much tension on the plastic piece here. So next, we're going to put the cylinder up here that holds the hopper up onto the post and you'll need a hammer and a rag for that. Uh, this is quite a tight fit. You're going to want to mount this. Um, if you're looking at the post, instead of like this, you're going to want to turn it just a little bit towards the front. That's my thing because I've already kind of tested it and I want the bullet feeder to sit a little forward so I don't have to look at it on the side to see if it's full or not. So this is straight and then just turn it just a bit and then you're going to want to slide it in there and then you're going to want to tap it with the hammer and a rag just so you don't dent it. Nice little chrome piece here. There you go. Now you can install the hopper and the feeder column. So you're going to want to go like this. I drop that in first and then basically with two hands you can guide this in. And there you go. So you're going to want to line up the bushing with the column and then tighten the screws at the back. Once those screws are tight, the column is secure and you can put in the hose and use your Dillon Allen keys. The nice thing is all the keys that come with Allen or Dillon work on the GSI products. So make sure that's secure. And once that's all done, you plug in your power. And we're gonna turn on the new GSI bullet feeder. And it also stops just like the case feeder once everything's full. Well, everything's set. Let's give it a shot. Put glasses on, and here we go. guys there you have it GSI's bullet feeder on the Dillon XL650 perfect ammo every time